let's talk about something that might be hard to hear for us cat lovers. What if your cat doesn't actually like you as much as you think? It's easy to assume that our cats adore us just because they tolerate our presence, but the truth is, cats are much more complex than that. They have their own ways of showing affection, and sometimes, signs of discomfort can be overlooked. Let's dive into some subtle, yet telling signs that your cat might not be as fond of you as you'd like to believe. One of the most telling indicators is your cat's tail position. A cat's tail can say a lot about how they're feeling. When a cat is content and happy to see you, their tail is usually raised, almost like a little flag of joy. However, if their tail is lowered or even dragging on the ground when they come into the room, it's a red flag. This position can indicate that your cat feels uneasy or even threatened. If you notice their tail tucked under their body, it's even worse it's a sign of fear. So, if you see this behavior regularly, it's worth considering that your cat might not be very comfortable around you. Another subtle sign is grooming behavior. Cats are meticulous groomers, and they usually feel safe enough to groom themselves in a comfortable environment. But if your cat stops grooming when you enter the room, or only grooms when you're not around, it's not a good sign. Grooming is a vulnerable activity, and if your cat feels the need to stop when you're present, it suggests they don't feel entirely safe around you. This might be surprising because we often associate grooming with cleanliness and comfort, but in this case, it's more about their trust or lack thereof in you. Frequent scratching or grooming after you've interacted with them is another behavior to watch. While it might seem like normal cat behavior, it could mean that your cat is trying to soothe themselves or even cover up your scent with theirs. This is especially relevant in multi-animal households, where cats might groom more to rid themselves of other animals' scents or after a stressful interaction. If your cat is grooming more often after you've petted them, it could be a sign that your touch was more stressful than comforting for them. Let's move on to a position many cat owners misinterpret. Lying on their back with claws out. It's easy to assume that when a cat exposes their belly, they're inviting you to pet them. However, this position can also be a defensive pasture. If their claws are out and their body is tense, it means they're ready to defend themselves, not relax. If you mistake this for an invitation and get scratched, don't be too surprised it's a sign that your cat is actually on high alert. Hiding is another sign that shouldn't be ignored. While it's normal for cats to hide when they're in a new environment, persistent hiding in a familiar setting is concerning. If your cat suddenly starts hiding more often, it could be due to anxiety or discomfort in your presence. This could also be a sign of health issues, as cats tend to hide when they're feeling unwell. Either way, it's important to pay attention and consider what might be causing this behavior. Then there's biting. Not all bites are created equal. Gentle love bites are common among cats and usually indicate playful affection. However, if your cat bites you hard and without warning, it's a clear sign that something is wrong. This type of bite is usually a response to fear or anger. If this happens frequently, it's a sign that your cat is not comfortable with you and it might be time to reassess how you're interacting with them. If your cat is constantly trying to escape or flee when you're around, this is a big indicator of distress. Cats are instinctively cautious creatures, always balancing their role as both predator and prey. If your presence makes your cat feel cornered or threatened, their natural response will be to flee. This behavior is particularly worrying because it suggests that your cat doesn't feel safe in your company. Another important sign is flattened ears. In the wild, cats flatten their ears to avoid detection by predators or prey. When a domestic cat flattens its ears around you, it's a clear warning sign that they see you as a potential threat. Approaching them during this time, especially to try and comfort them, could actually escalate their fear or discomfort. Licking their lips or nose is a lesser known sign of anxiety in cats. Just like how humans might fidget or bite their nails when nervous, cats lick their lips or nose to self-soothe. If your cat does this more often when you're around, it's a sign that they're feeling uneasy. Avoiding eye contact is another subtle but important sign. Cats communicate a lot through their eyes, and if your cat is constantly avoiding your gaze, it's not a good sign. While humans use eye contact to build connection and trust, cats might interpret direct eye contact as a threat. If your cat is consistently avoiding looking at you, it might mean they're uncomfortable or anxious. Finally, let's talk about staring. Cats might stare for different reasons, and while it can be endearing, it can also be a sign of discomfort depending on their body language. 
If your cat is staring at you with a tense body and flattened ears, it's not a friendly gaze, it's a warning that they're on high alert. So, what does all this mean? If you recognize several of these signs, it might be time to take a step back and think about how you can improve your relationship with your cat. Building trust with a cat takes time and patience, and understanding their body language is the first step in creating a more comfortable environment for them. After all, our goal as cat owners should be to ensure that our feline friends are as happy and comfortable as possible in our presence.